In this video, we'll talk about five Linux terminal tricks you didn't know. Number one, clear terminal. So as we know that we can clear our terminal with the help of clear command, but we have another way that we can use and basically it's a shortcut. For example, I have a lot of commands onto my terminal at the moment. I will write here CD desktop. I will get out of this. I will write here LS. I will write here LS dash L and now I want to clear my terminal without the use of clear command. The shortcut for that is control plus L and as you can see it has removed everything. But if you scroll upward it has everything it has not deleted anything. So that is a benefit of having control plus L command because it does not delete any history as it maintains it but for you it moves everything upward and it presents you a new terminal in front of you. If I write here reset and now hit enter, it will delete everything along with my history. As you can see, I cannot scroll upward and downward. So this is how you can clear your terminal. Number two, full screen terminal. To have a terminal on your full screen, you just need to press F11. We have a maximize button in here, but in some of the Linux distribution, we do not have maximize and minimize button. For that, you can use F11. As you can see, it has shifted your terminal onto your full screen and we do not have any top bar and any bottom bar onto our terminal. To get out of this, press escape or again press F11. It will move backwards just like it was earlier. Number three, increase and decrease text. Well, in some of the Linux distribution, we can increase and decrease the font size into our terminal. For that purpose, just press Ctrl plus Shift and now press plus sign. As you can see, it is increasing the font size. In case if you want to decrease it, just press the minus sign along with your Ctrl plus Shift keys and it will reduce the size of your terminal. Number four, clear the command. Well, let's say we have a command that is very big. Let's say I have touch home username, which is Zubair. Then I have documents. And now after that, I want to write here the name of the file that I want to create. Now, suddenly I remembered that I want to use some other command, not this one. For that purpose, either I have to keep pressing backspace to remove this command or I have a shortcut and the shortcut is control U and boom, we do not have anything in here onto our terminal now. Number five, get to the beginning or end of a command. Again, I will write here, touch, home, Zubair, document. And now if I write here file.py, and now suddenly I remembered that I want to change this command at the start of this command. For that purpose, either I have to use my arrow keys or I have a shortcut and the shortcut is control A. As you can see with the help of control A, we are at the start of our command. But now if I want to go at the end of my command for that, we have a shortcut that is control E. So this is how you can move towards the end or towards the start of your commands onto your terminal with some simple shortcuts. And that brings us to the end of today's video. We'll see you in the next one.